If you're not yet a subscriber, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon so you can be alerted each and every time we make a new video. Ira Miller here, the Villages Expert, and today I am coming to you from my own home, actually. So, I'm out here working in my yard. So I thought, what better way would there to be for me to go ahead and do a video for all the new people who are moving from up north to Florida and have no idea what needs to be done to their grass, all right? So this is called St. Augustine. So a lot of people from up north, they tell me this is crabgrass. We kill that stuff. That's what they tell me for uh, those folks up north. And um, no, this is our deciduous grass that we have here in Florida. And uh, it's a great grass but it's not easy to take care of. So I thought, you know what? What better way would there be for me to help you all figure out when you move to Florida, what you're gonna do to take care of your grass or what needs to be done to take care of your grass. So let me go over this with you. All right, so first of all, I do my own grass. You can see I just drove up here in my lawnmower, so I mow my own grass. Um, I take care of it. Nobody does anything for me. I do it all because I've tried lawn care after lawn care after lawn care, and they all seem to disappoint. And I'll tell you, I can't do any worse than what they've done for me here in the past. So this is what I've compiled and I'm gonna share all this with you today. So when you do move to Florida, um, these are the tools that you're gonna need to take care of your lawn. Now again, you can call Massey or Advantage Green or whatever lawn care company you want to but they all seem to fall short of what um, my standards are for a nice lawn. All right, so first of all, every year I battle what are called chinch bugs, all right? So chinch bugs, they are horrible for St. Augustine. They'll come in and they will, it could wipe out a whole yard. And then you're gonna spend thousands of dollars resodding your yard because these chinch bugs have come in there and just totally destroyed you. All right, so I battle them every year. So this year I am not gonna take any chances. So there are several different, um, products that you can use. This is an, uh, an Amdro Quick Kill. Uh, it does kill uh, chinch bugs. Now this is a preventative, all right? Um, so this you wanna put down about every three months. I also use, so this is the same, pretty much the same product. Uh, this is, um, Bio Advanced by Bear, and uh, as you can see, it says chinch bugs right on here. So I'm not taking any chances. I'm spreading this stuff about every two months because if I don't, I'm going to be using this stuff. Now this again is bio-advanced. This is the complete insect killer. And this is what's gonna kill uh, chinch bugs if you happen to get them and you need to do something right away because you immediately have to do something, all right? If not, they're just gonna take over. And this stuff here might go ahead and take care of the problem eventually but I want, I'd get right on it. So what I do, this is kind of a thick product. So I will use a sprayer, right? And I'll go ahead and I will dilute this by about 50%. 
and then I'll increase it by 50%. So whatever it tells me, if it tells me spray two ounces, I'll spray four ounces because I've, I've diluted it. But anyways, that's kind of um, what I do for chinch bugs. You have to be careful. Now, listen, I sell a lot of homes and on top of the world, they have the maintenance free section area there. They're only going to do so much. So uh, even if you're in the maintenance free area, you need to pay attention to this video because you need to be aware of what's going on in your yard and you need to, I would say you need to supplement. Um, you know, they say that they spray for insects and they spray fertilizer, but pay particular attention. This is the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want everybody to be aware of, uh, of the perils that you can go through. All right, let's move on. I have something called Immunox which is fungus plus insect control. So I have a fungus problem this year. I've been battling this fungus. And so I've used two things. I'm using Disease X by Scott's. Okay. For lawn fungicide because let me show you what I'm dealing with and you know what this is I've got I've got it pretty almost under control but let me show you what I'm dealing with here all right so this is what your lawn will start to looking like all right it starts looking yellow and it gets some brown spots on the leaves. All right, now I've been over to the agricultural department over in, um, in Ocala. And then it progresses. And then see what it'll do. This fungus has actually killed some of my lawn, but actually some of that was done by um, chinch bugs last year but here's a severe case of this fungus now I've put uh, a couple pieces of sod in there because last year those chinch bugs they killed that um, that part of my grass right there and this St. Augustine is very viney it'll grow in but um, this fungus kicked in and then it stopped it from actually filling in. So I went ahead and uh, put some sod in there. So I, over here in this part of, um, of my yard, that was really yellow too. So I've got a lot of that under control. But you can see as I come up, um, there, there are some spots still that are kind of yellowy. All right. Yeah, I got a monster truck next door to me. That's an NFL football player actually, who owns that truck. But, uh, you know, it'll start out like a little bit of yellow here and there, and then it just progresses. Now over here in this spot, so, so we've gone over and we've talked about the fungus and how I'm battling that. Next thing you have to battle are weeds. This is a dollar, this is your dollar weed right here. All right, and we're gonna talk about dollar weed and how we're getting rid of that. All right, so let's go ahead now if I stand back, you can kind of see it's a patchy area where I've had to spray some weed killer on there to get rid of that dollar weed. It does affect your lawn a bit when you use that. Oh, 
okay? All right, so weeds in the lawn, dollar weed, that sort of thing. Um, I think my primary go-to is image. Because if you look at image right here, it says dollar weed and it kills a bunch of other weeds. This little bottle will treat 8,000 square feet. So um, image, they have a couple different images. Uh, there's um, uh, another image with atrazine and atrazine, I think, uh, with um, image. I don't think this has the atrazine in it, but um, Anyways, I probably like the atrazine, the image with atrazine better. There's also another product called um, Roundup. Now, Roundup kills weeds. Folks, if you're going to get Roundup, get the Roundup for lawns. Kills the weeds, not the lawn. Do not get the Roundup. That's going to kill weeds in your lawn and everything else. I showed you a spot over around the side of my house, right? Where uh, I was showing you where there's a little bit of yellow still left on the side. But there's a big empty area uh, where some weeds are starting to grow on the side over there. Where I use Roundup 365. That Roundup 365 wiped out my hedge over there. So uh, be careful of using Roundup. Um, again, I use the Roundup for lawns, but I'm probably never gonna use the 365 ever again, just simply because it kills everything. Even your trees, even your hedges. So be very careful about that. Um, so that's what I use. And again, if you're taking care of your own lawn, even if you're not taking care of your own lawn, I would suggest, because I'm very particular about my lawn. Right now, my lawn is in horrible shape. And that's why I'm doing this video because, um, I'm actively going after it. Now, what did I do today? So I, I put this Disease X down, which I've already put down a couple of times already. I've hit the fungus again with the Immunox. Immunox, Immunox, probably Immunox. Um, to spot treat after I go ahead and spread it with the spreader because this spreads with the spreader. But um, so I'm actively battling this fungus in my yard. And uh, so I thought, hey, let me just do a video for all y'all. Next thing I'm doing is ironite. If you want a really rich green lawn and be the envy of the neighborhood, like I usually am. Um, Ironite, that is a great product. It is gonna green up your lawn. It's gonna be deep, it's gonna be a deep, rich green. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I will wait until um, a couple of weeks and hopefully I've got this fungus a little bit more under control the ironite has had a chance to kick in. All right, last but not least is fertilizer too. So I've used a bunch of different fertilizers and folks, especially those in the maintenance free area over at the, uh, on top of the world. I would supplement with bonus S, turf builder, weed and feed. You've got to battle these weeds all the time. If you have a nice, healthy lawn, you're really not gonna have many weeds, but I, I do this three times a year, okay? Um, so about every four months, well, no, actually I'll do it about four times a year. About every three months, I will put down 
weed and feed because, uh, and you don't have to put weed and feed down every time, but I've used different products, different um, fertilizer products, and I have found that um, Scotch seems to be the best uh, at what I use, okay? Um, so anyways, last but not least, and this is what I use for a lot of my listings too. So I like to get these cans of uh, weed and grass foaming. So this stuff here is great. All right, let me kind of bend this down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but down here I have some weeds. Right? It, kill, it kills grass, it kills weeds, but I like to go along just as a spot treatment on my sidewalk in front of my, all the way around my house actually. So, <clears throat> this is a great product. This stuff here, this stuff here acts pretty much right away. You know, if it goes and rains or whatever, an hour after you've put it down, you've pretty much got it under control and it's gonna do its job. So there you have it. There's my video on how to take care of your grass here in Florida when you move to this area. Um, so hopefully this is going to help you. Now let me just add one last, one last thing about chinch bugs because I was going to mention it and I forgot earlier. Chinch bugs. If your grass looks like it's a dry, there's a dry patch. It, it almost looks like um, that your sprinkler isn't hitting it. It's looking dry. You're over there watering it with your hose and it's still not doing anything. It's chinch bugs. Get you some, you could even get like, um, instead of this stuff, uh, they do have a hose end sprayer. And so you don't even have to mix this up you know, with your, with your sprayer, you can just get a hose end bottle of that complete insect killer. And there's even something even better, but it doesn't, this comes as a hose end sprayer. The other stuff I use is um, carpenter ant and termite killer. That stuff is probably about twice as powerful as that. Let me go grab that real quick. All right, so uh, this is the bad boy. This stuff here, I buy it by the gallon, as you can see. Actually, I think I got a good deal. I got a two for one deal or something. Uh, it says Carpenter Ant, it says Carpenter Ant and Termite Killer Plus. Concentrate. So this, I don't think you can get in a hose end sprayer, but this is the stuff that I will dilute 50% because it's really thick. And then do, the, do what I said there. But um, I'm set up for battle here, right? Uh, again, you can go with one of these companies, um, but... You know, you, you start getting stuff like fungus in your yard um, or chinch bugs and stuff like that. It gets expensive and these people do not want to spend the money that you pay them to go ahead and, uh, and fight all this stuff that's in your lawn. So I've given you the tools that you need to go ahead and, and uh, make your own battle and fight against uh, yard disease, bugs, weeds, you're good to go after this video. So ha anyways, hopefully you like this video. Um, give you a little glimpse of where I live, my house, what it looks like, in case you ever wondered what my house looks like. You got a little, a little uh, sneak peek. 
and uh, so I'm getting ready to mow the lawn and get going and do and uh, I've already done my stuff I'm probably getting ready now to since I've already spread my disease X and my ironite I spread my fertilizer a couple of months ago I might go ahead and uh, do that next week anyways but I'm probably going to go ahead and spot treat my uh my little fungus areas here again and try to just knock that out because that stuff is tough i've never really had to battle fungus before and uh, like i said i had to go to the um uh hold on let me show you something all right i had to run inside and get this um so uf university of florida uh, they kind of are, are the ones that are over there at the architectural, um, at the ag building over there here in Ocala. And um, they gave me, you know, some information about what I have, some of the issues that I have. A couple pages there. Then they gave me this dollar spot turf stuff. Um, so they're really good. If, uh, e even if you live in the villages, if you want to grab some, you know, if you're having issues with your grass, see, they've given, you can see this, this stuff here looks a lot like what I'm dealing with right there, right? So, um, and here. So, they were kind enough to print all this stuff out for me free of charge. And uh, they're there for you if you need it and if you are so inclined. But um, I highly suggest that you take matters in your own hands. And uh, if you do kind of follow the protocol like I just laid out, you know, you should have a beautiful lawn. Again, you have the advantage of me having all the issues right now, but we're getting rid of this. It's looking better and better. And in about a week or two, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a, a before and after look and uh, so we're going to start this before look right now. And then we're going to give you an after look once I get all these issues straightened out, right? All right, so there you go, folks. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this is helpful to you. And uh, you know, I'm always here for you. I'm trying to think of all kind of different things to bring to you to be helpful. So uh, especially when people are coming from up north and don't really know how to deal with stuff like this. Um, I thought, what a great way to help people out and uh, learn about St. Augustine. And there's different types of St. Augustine, by the way. Um, actually, what I had to do, I, I just keep going, you know, because what I had to do with my yard, I actually had to get a shade tolerant grass. So if you have a yard or a lot with a lot of trees you see those trees in the back of my yard those trees constantly give shade back here well floritam st augustine there's some more fungus issue i'm battling but floritam st augustine really does not like shade you see all the shade that's in my backyard well i actually had to I don't know if you can tell, but, well, let's go back there. I had to resod this area because, of, because this is, what I had to put down was called Pro Vista. Um, this is sod that I actually had because it all died all around here. And I have two big dogs that don't help the, mat, don't help the situation any either. 
with running along the a path here. So you can kind of see here the edge of the sod that I had to put down, but I put down shade tolerant, what was called Pro Vista. They're over here too, in this area. Um, so just remember that. If uh, you have a yard with big trees in the back like I do, right? Um, you'll need shade tolerant grass. Because we like our trees here in my neighborhood. They actually made us. This was a little tiny tree 15 years ago when I moved into my house. All right, so one last thing before we leave. Just showed you the Pro Vista sod that I used in my spots here in the front in full sun because that Pro Vista doesn't really mind shade or sun. So it was a great product. Uh, as you can see when I showed you the fungus over there and that I replaced that sod with. I'm going to give a shout out to this guy. Free advertisement. All right. Uh, called the Sod Lot. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe I'll turn it around where um, the sun will hit it a little bit better. But I'm going to give Johan, right here is his name, Johan. I'm going to give Johan a shout out because that's where I got my sod. I got a whole pallet of sod. About killed me. Laying me killed my back. To lay that pallet of sod back. But it pretty much did the trick. It filled everything in for me. I'm glad I got it over with. But Johan, whether you need one piece of sod or whether you need a whole pallet of sod, I think it was 250 bucks for a whole pallet of sod. That, that spot that I showed you was just one little small spot. Um, I actually built in a lot, a lot of areas. So if you move into a, um, an area that has big oak trees in the back, those oak leaves are acidic when they fall. They fall every spring. You're going to have to those up. Um, so that stuff's kind of acidic. You want to try to get that, those leaves up. Anyway, uh, Johan, where is he located? Well, uh, he's located on 441. So where's Johan located? He's located uh, right across from Camper's World uh, on 441 in uh, Summerfield. So if any of you are familiar with the area and um, you know where Del Webb Spruce Creek is on 441, he's on the same side as uh, the Del Webb Spruce Creek, almost directly across from Camper's World. So. Um, Give Johan a shout out. I'll tell you his number is 352-693-3270. Uh, uh, you can email him at johan at thesodlot.com or just visit www.thesodlot.com. And um, you know what I really liked about Johan? He had a pallet of sod. Rather than just, you know, letting it die. I guess he wasn't selling it fast enough. What he did was he took every piece of sod, put it on the ground, and he watered it every day. Well, here's the beautiful thing of that, because I got some of this sod. I had to go back and get a few more pieces that I, that I lacked uh, from that whole pallet that I, that I laid, but, um, and I got some from my father-in-law. What that does is that gets the roots started already in these, um, oh, that, and by the way, you have to water this. If you put sod down, you have to water it every single day without fail 
for two weeks and not a minute less. Make sure you water that sod every day. Now, this sod that I got from Johan that already had the roots started because he already laid it down and started watering, um, it was beautiful. I, was, I only had to water that side less than a week because the roots had already, you know, kind of started growing. When I put it down, they kind of, it took right away. So the side lot, I'm going to end with that. Uh, give Johan a shout out and uh, you can tell him that you heard it from me. I don't get anything for it. He probably won't even remember me. But uh, anyways, give the guy your business because uh, he was a good guy very reasonable in price he's proactive and uh, nice just nice guy so thanks so much for watching this video and if you're not yet a subscriber please go ahead and hit the subscribe button you'll get videos like this and uh, informational hopefully to help you out I'm here for you you can call me at 352-454-9561 if I don't answer you can leave a message or call Blakely, my assistant, 352-204-9026. That's my right-hand person right there. She's awesome. Christian's also there in the office helping out. So we're a whole team here to help you. So um, hit that subscribe button and that notification icon, and we'll see you in our next video.